Hey everyone, my name is Saleh. This is my first video which I'm checking, and we're gonna see how we can add water dripping effects on our materials. So let's get us started. Okay, I have an Apple model here with a simple light setup. As you can see, I connected PBR textures before. First, we need a water drops material. You can find some PBR textures or procedural materials, but I'm gonna use my procedural water drops that contain theory water drops material and we can animate them. It's an art station. You can find it on Blender Market and check out description for links. Okay, I have this file here and we should add diff pass to our asset browser library path. So we can add it from here. So I switch to asset browser and I can see all materials here. If you want to use them on some glass surface like the window, you just need to drag and drop materials. But here we want to add water drops on an apple. So I'm gonna add an empty shader. I just drag it here and we need this node group. So I paste that on our main shader. Okay, all work we have to do is to combine this channel roughness and normal with this channel. So I'm gonna use a mix node, of course a vector mode for normal and, and water drops mask for factor input for mix node and another mix node for roughness and again I'm gonna use water drops mask as a factor input for mix node okay that's it we did it and if you want we can change some parameters like a scale or some range and you can control normal strange and uh, we can add animation with this parameter I'm gonna switch to timeline panel press I set a number and press I again So we have this. Okay, that's it. If you have any question, feel free to ask and you can comment that below and thank you for watching.